Hi and welcome back, this is Dr. Kaiser. I'm going to talk to you today about how sodium causes kidney damage which leads to high blood pressure. So we have the model here and this packet is actually one teaspoon of sodium. And just know that your body only needs one quarter teaspoon to function. And by functioning I mean making the nerves work, making the muscles function. Okay, so you have the sodium, it goes in your blood like so. But focus on this area here called the glomeruli. And this is a magnified version of the glomeruli right in here. So the sodium gets reabsorbed in a proximal convoluted tubule. Reabsorbed means that uh, it goes from the urine to the blood. This happens in excess, that leads to high blood pressure, that leads to swelling of your legs, or swelling of anywhere else, such as bloating, puffiness, wherever that may be. It also leads to enlarging your heart muscle. It also leads to stiffening of your arteries. So just realize that sodium in excess leads to excessive angiotensin 2, which leads to high blood pressure, which leads to swelling, which leads to enlarging your heart and other bad side effects or adverse effects. But just realize there are medications that can counteract this, such as angiotensin septa blockers and these inhibitors. So all is, not, all is not lost if you eat too much sodium, but keep in mind you can also reduce your sodium intake. Imagine that. So this is one teaspoon of sodium, which is about 2,300 milligrams of sodium. If you have high blood pressure, you only need approximately three-fourths teaspoon of sodium. So this is too much if you have high blood pressure. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, hit the like button. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lecture.